So let me get this. And I am literally playing on a PS3 controller. So, if I, all right, we're good, we're in. So long as this is in, which it seems to not be. Looks like we gotta fix the input. And it doesn't see it. All right. Fucking hell. There it is. My drivers. I need those. Give them to me. We'll restart this. Open the file. the right time, options, input, left, up, right, down, B, and A, and then pad to start, pad to select, all right. So interesting and interestingly enough, uh, with this game, how it works is for when you start, it needs player two to uh, press start. So I, since I already do have a save state, but I'm gonna kind of run through like what you're supposed to be doing. I'll try and get a good Mario run and a good Rad Racer. Oh Jesus! Uh, yeah. So this is. How do I hard reset shifty? You have to hard reset or else it fucks it. I mean, it's a mad input delay because I think I'm streaming, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the Mario. But regardless, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna be able to do it. But I'll walk you through like what the strat is. So you full run, you jump here, you jump, you hit that block, you jump, you hit that block, you're still going full speed. Make this jump, go on the pipe. Get all these coins as quick as you can. This is pretty slow, but it's whatever. Hit this coin block, kill one Goomba, die to the other. Respawn. Get the coin up here. Kill one of the Goombas. Well, you're supposed to kill one of the Goombas anyway. So I'll go from there. I don't give a shit. Uh, so you kill one of the Goombas. That's a 10 coin block. If you fuck up the timing, you fuck up your run. Because uh, you get 9 coins and they just can't do it. If you do it really tight, you get 11 coins, and you want that. So you want to kill one Goomba before you die, and then you want to kill one last Goomba here. So I'll have enough coins here. 50 coins, boom. So... I probably should change my stream, right? Let me do that. I'm not playing Cooks or Delicious anymore. How do I change this shit?
Okay. Nintendo World Championships 1990. Boom. All right. There we are. Anyway. So that's kind of the Mario strat. And the reason why he did everything specifically with the Goombas is because you have to do in order to get the right Tetris seed. This is N400. This is like the magic number. This gives, this gives you a specific Tetris seed, which is like the best one by far. At least that's reasonable to do. Um, Rad Racer always gives you the same score. It's just a matter of doing it as quick as you can. Which does have one very hard turn. But the rest of it's pretty easy. And this game is actually easier on a PS3 pad because it's easier to hold up and you kind of have to. For the, like the whole thing, literally. Well, I'm fucking in here, but. That guy shifts over. We stay in this lane. Just use this. Mind the turbo. Stay on the left side, they shift over. Left turn. You want to be on the left side. But not too far left, or you crash into that guy because it's way too easy of a turn. And then it goes left, right, left. The pattern's always the same, and the pattern with the AI is always the same as well, so long as you don't fuck up and have something like that happen. You want to be bad at the turn and make it in the right lane at the end there. Be right on the borderline there, left turn here. Kinda gotta be close to the car there. Stay in the left lane, you get another left turn. This one has an invisible left turn after it. Crash into that guy, but get as far left as you can, because the invisible left turn is here. Keep going, one guy on the right, one guy on the left, you turn at left after the guy on the left. Kind of a hard turn. Barely made that. And then you got three guys here, one guy on the left, one guy on the right, and one guy in the center. Passing the guy on the center is hard, and this is also the hardest turn in the game. One, two, one, two, one, two. I think I made that pretty cleanly. Yeah. So stay in the left lane. And then there'll be a third guy on the right, and you drift right between them. Just barely making it through. And then at 60 60, you crash into a tree. And then you land right at the finish line. Then you don't have to grind to a halt at the end. So that's your rad racer. And then you get this Tetra store score, which is, uh, this is the seat. It always gives you this L piece and then two blocks and then this piece here and so on and so on. And it's always going to be the same so long as you get that Mario score. So I have a save state for this. I'm, I'm going to try and memorize this pattern because I'm no good at actual Tetris. And that's kind of the whole point of me being here, is that I was just going to memorize this shit. One, two, three, one, and then this goes here, 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 that goes there, that goes there, and then I don't know. I'm pretty sure that goes on the right side, but I need to, I'm going to be comparing this side by side with the, the master the world record holder because this is the exact pattern that he was running okay, yep 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 gets that gets that gets that oh okay so what he does with it is he puts it all the way to the side here and then he puts the four block here uh, what does he do after that Looks like he puts this in a L shape, and then shifts that over, probably does, no, 
I'm wrong again. So he puts this up right. Where does he put this? Far left, and then a square in the center. Alright. This, I think, goes on the far right. Yep, it does. Drops that straight down, and then another right next to it. This goes straight down, this goes next to it. This goes... Yeah, okay. So strat is essentially just piling super high, because you can do it quick. Okay, so... This goes right in that gap. Alright, this is where it starts to get panicky. Fills this here. And then does this. And this. And I need to pause here. Because <laughs> this, this is where it gets a little closer for comfort. Alright, so you throw that over to the right side. Yeah. And then, I think you Tetris with this. Yeah, you Tetris with that. Stacks a T-piece and then that horizontally. So you just do this, and then this, and then I'm pretty sure this. Yes. And then T-piece upright. And then another Tetris. So let's run this through again, all the way from the beginning, see what I remembered. Because that is the point of the whole thing, is for me to remember it. Yes, okay, all right. And then that there. Um, right, okay, yeah. Gotcha. And I'll try and roll from here. This is where you start doing this. Alright, so I remember that much, so let's do it one more time. going to be of the essence in the moment, too, so, like, oh, I fucked it. Yeah, no, I need to get, I need to remember, that's not where that goes. I was doing that out of habit, because I didn't remember where it was, and I was doing that in a bunch of my attempts previously. Because I was kind of just rolling with it when I was playing this with my buddy at a recent event. I had forgotten everything, but I need to, I've now made it a bad habit. I did it so much. So I gotta fuck off with that. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. doesn't seem right. 
That's definitely not right. What happened? Okay, right, right. Oh! I placed it as an L shape rather than covering the uh, upper left part of it. Okay. So don't... Uh... What the fuck? What's happening? Windows. An error. Fuck YouTube. <laughs> Mind me. Oh my god, YouTube is shitting the bed. Alright. We'll ignore that for now. Ignore the man behind the curtain. about it. Oh, I realize. It's just... Well, I didn't get it in time, but shifted over to that spot, but just one to the right. So we do it again, because we need to memorize this shit. Entertaining stream time. Definitely the one on the left. Do it again. Thank you. 
All right. Just got that part decently memorized. Yeah, YouTube has been acting super shit. All right, so yeah, you put get some to the top. Does all that. Gets risky. And then it gets real crazy after this. I already know that much. All right, so that goes straight down. That to the left. Straight down. To the left here. Across here. Where does this go? Upright. Weird move. And then this right on top. I think I have a guess where this one goes. Yep. Okay. So this goes here, block goes here, and then this one goes here, block goes here. Yeah, okay, I remember this. You can do those interchangeably. You can do that in either order. It doesn't actually matter. The C is always going to be set the same. So, it's a block there. That goes there. Straight down. This is where it gets scary. Because that can happen. And you can fuck it up. If you're slow at all, it just kills you. So we do it from the ground up. I didn't, I didn't think that I was stacking the L pieces that early, but you do. Gotta be confident. mistakes like that. That is a big no. Gotcha. And then you gotta make the sickest play ever. But I didn't make it. You gotta rotate it, get it all the way to the top of that block. You gotta just immediately hold left and rotate it. But I didn't make it. And it actually cuts off off screen, but since it doesn't obstruct the, uh, the piece that spawns, it doesn't actually make you lose somehow. 
Which is whack, but hey. Oh, I fucking blew that. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. is it. Notice. And then you go for the Tetris. And then you bring this over here. Boom. That goes right on top. Another Tetris. I think I have a guess where this one's gonna go. I was wrong. Why is that? Okay, because he gets a bunch of pieces later, that'll just fill that all up and it's fine. So it probably doesn't actually matter. So he gets the Tetris. Left side. And then he just kind of fills up the left side, stacks the squares on top of each other. Gotcha. I understand. Okay, what does he do with this? That's probably not right. Oh, it is. Lucky me. Because I just sat there. How did he get the Tetris GUI to have a PlayStation controller? It's just, yeah, it is just an input display. NES Tetris isn't a mess. It's just random. Actually random. <laughs> and therefore kind of bullshit. Because um, newer Tetris, uh, there are two differences as far as I can tell. Newer Tetris games, one, are in what's called... They use what's called a bag system, the seven bag system. So there are seven different pieces for Tetris here. You can see them lined along the left here. And you see how the numbers are not the same? Like we got only eight L pieces, and I'm not, I got like 12 T pieces. There, it's kind of close, but not quite. It's because it's actual random. I've seen some bad fucking deeds where you can get like 12 of one piece and then like one line piece. Um, so, so that's the main difference is that it's actually random. In the newer games, in newer Tetris, that uses a bag system, it pulls all of each seven pieces of the bag before it can do the second one of the same type. So, like, let's say that the first piece it pulls out in the entire game is going to be the T piece, the one at the top there. The, uh, 
the one with the three prongs coming out from the one in the middle. It'll go through all the other six pieces before it'll draw another. So every piece gets drawn. So you have to keep that in mind with your strategy. But with old Tetris, you can't base your strategy around shit. It's full random. Um, also in newer games, it also usually has a hold system. So like if you have a piece you literally can't put anywhere, you could put it in like a little spot in like the corner where you can hold it. And you can swap out a piece for the other one in the hold spot. But you can only do it once and you have to place another piece. Usually is how it works. So that's another key difference. Um, but the, uh, the other main second difference is in new Tetris, you can like spin the piece as it like, lands right as it's touching. If you do that in this game, it just eventually lands anyway. But you like spin it and mash spinning. And sometimes even climb the piece up higher. <laughs> yeah. So, but it, it's not like that in this game. It's old Tetris. It's odd, kind of, but it also just kind of makes sense as far as Tetris goes. Just making it make fucking sense. Otherwise, it's just too it's too rough for anyone who's trying to play the game casually. So anyway, so he scores a Tetris with this line piece, and then he builds this up. All right, what does he do with this block? Straight down to slightly to the right. Gotcha. Does this? What does he do with that line? Just scores it, huh? Hmm? Oh, oh! I missed him doing that. So he puts this to the left here. That makes sense. I think he puts this here. Yes. Yes. place to put this block, so he puts it here. Puts that one right straight down. That's probably enough. We'll see if I can remember any of that. So Zach, in case you missed it, what I'm trying to do is I'm actually memorizing the seed, because this is always going to be the same seed for the Nintendo World Championships here, as long as you get the right score on Mario. Weirdly enough, that decides it. And since I'm just not good at Tetris, I'm just going to memorize the pattern like a cheapo. Maybe it is. 
this. Okay, from here I'm just kind of improvising, but yeah, this is this is it. Um, so this is that. Armstead does the same thing I did. Oh, he stacks that straight up. So that L piece I just put down, he puts it right in that two gap at the top there. Hmm. Yeah, it's that kind of stuff that, like, you're not going to put that there just expecting for shit to work out. You have to know the seed to make it a play like that. Luckily, I do. <laughs> okay. So let's back up here. YouTube is machine. Okay. I'm going to refresh the page. If you guys want, I can put in the chat what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at the uh, the video. 4.5 million on the Nintendo World Championship 1990 cartridge, which is the world record as far as I can tell. But all I'm doing is memorizing the seed, memorizing everything he's doing, and just copy. And hoping that I can clean myself up a little. of the essence. So all this here is not me being good at Tetris, it's me having this shit memorized. Which I suppose one could argue is impressive in its own right, but eh. I don't know. It's pushing it, in my opinion. second. Alright, so yeah, we get here. Boom, boom, boom. Get that line piece stacked there. Work on the left side, stack the center tower. Work on the right side. Oh, that's what I messed up. I put the T piece on the left side instead of the right side. You put it on the right side until you clear a line, which I did. I did do that. That was what I was supposed to do. But this whole left side here that I have filled up with all the the white spaces, it should not be filled up. It should not be. I should be stacking on the right side. So I'll remember that. So let's try it. I almost want to see how many points that is. It's probably pretty low. No. 
caught myself there. Okay, right. So do this. And then once you place that piece, then you start building on the left again, kind of. And then you go boom. Boom. The T and then that T piece goes still to the left. So yeah, then you're stacking on the left again. Gotcha. Here, where does the next TV go? Le far left. Uh, fuck it. Let's see how many points I have so far. For total. That's a 608. Okay, so anything past that, and I'm starting to get past what I can do naturally with my shitty Tetris. But that was like quite a bit of time I had left too, so even with me being as slow as I am here. This seems not right. I have 
believe that's because it is not right. Maybe. I'll just sort of wing it from here and see how I do. Not good, apparently. Big-ass lag spike. What the fuck? You guys hear that? It's like... Totally fucked up. OBS? What's happening, OBS? I don't know. Oh, hey, you can see my mouse. I didn't know. That's good. I thought I was just pointing to myself here. High class fucked myself on this one. What'd I get? 68? Damn, that was pretty good on time. Yeah, 68. <laughs> It'd almost be worth resetting there. And still going for it. I just can't even believe it, man. A buddy of mine got 1.6 million, and he was just freestyling it on Tetris. He didn't know no fucking seed. 1.6 million. Let that sink in. I got this whole seed I'm memorizing, and I'm not 
hardly getting <laughs> that much. Just... What the hell? Freestyling it here. Oh boy, I killed myself now. Not irredeemable. Damn. Barely broke a million. What the fuck? Seriously calling into question the score that he got.
parameters are odd well it's all weighted on like um so the thing about it is Ted obviously Tetris is where you get all your points because the first two are supposed to be essentially the same thing no matter what run you're doing and the only thing that actually gets you a point is Tetris's um, singles doubles and triples give you like jack shit it's like incrementingly exponential or just not incrementally they're exponentially growing. There's a Tetris is far, far more than a triple, and so on. Um, so it's just it's just get good, really. I need to look at this seed a little more. Well, what do you know? I was doing everything exactly right, except he was stacking like a fucking madman. Holy Christ! Where I was cashing out, he was still stacking. So, like, it's also just I need to speed up a little. Every millisecond's gonna count here. I can't believe this guy got four million. I mean, yeah, there's just a lot of shit I can clean up, but it just doesn't seem like... It's all in my head, I think. So he puts that T piece there. So let's go back here. T piece goes there. Block goes on the right. This goes here. Line piece goes here. Then what? Block far left. Line far right. Then what? That goes right there. TP slipped right up. And then scores the Tetris. Jesus. L goes upright, far to the right. Yeah, you see, that that's the difference between modern Tetris and regular Tetris. Modern Tetris, you would have been fine because you were just spinning right there and you were just still moving over. Regular Tetris, like here? No, you... You're right. you're done. You're done so. You're placing that block. Fuck. <laughs> I'm getting there. Wow, this one's 
super slow. get there to that point and we'll rehash where to go from there. Because so far I'm remembering everything. And that's good. Maybe do a couple more reps. I'm getting faster. Good if I'm getting faster like that. second time. <laughs> the same mistake in the same place. Thank you. 
Okay. Right side, yeah. Fuck. I was fast enough to unpause and then go. <sighs> Alright. I'll remember that. That L piece goes on the right side. After the clear. It's getting better for sure. Straight down, left, left. Left, left. Bring it in. All right. This guy's a madman the way he stacks. Fuck me. Alright, well. It's over, boys. Wouldn't have much time there anyway. Gotta speed up. Thank you. 
I think this is it, right? Yeah, okay, this is it. And then the line pieces, he stacks like a fucking maniac. But I ain't gonna do that. Cash out. What do I got? I had another line too. 
That's about as fast as I could do. 186. 1 million 860, rather. So that's about the fastest I could do. Oh, God. Alright, that was good. Let's do it again. This is how you practice. You do it once, it's not enough. Thank you. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be quick enough. Well, there you have it. Um, there's got to be some method for, like, dropping blocks that this guy's doing that I just don't know how to do. Like, is there a way to move while you're dropping it? I don't think so. Maybe just mashing down. Is he just like rapid firing his... I don't know. Well, that's an F. If I've ever seen one, that is an F moment. 
Damn. Yeah, 4.5 mil. I don't know, I think he's dropping blocks way quicker than I am, but I don't know how he does it. Like, if you notice, he's just kind of a lot quicker on the draw about it. This is also not, like, the most precise time, because I kind of set it up to be, like, somewhat realistic and not frame-perfect-ass Mario save state. So he'll have, like, slightly more time than me, but not a super significant amount, like it's visually making out to be. Like, you'll notice, he just plays so much longer, it feels like. I don't know. Might just be the Tetris speed, man. He might just be quicker at Tetris. Getting those blocks down. I mean, he's just go, go, go. Boom, 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 they drop. My question is if there's some sort of secret in doing that, whether he knows it and I don't. That seems very possible at this point. I'm guessing that you just said something in the chat, but I can't read it. I'll get back to you. Please leave a message. I don't see me clearing another Tetris in that amount of time. There's something he knows that I don't. That's all there is to it, I guess. Because, see, I have the timer in the bottom left here. I have 248 when I start Tetris. Hits 247 right as it rolls over to Tetris. So how much, how long is he playing Tetris for? Quite a long time. So he starts at 3.22 out of... Um, 
322 out of what? Six minutes and something seconds. I think it's six minutes and 21 seconds. So he gets a full three minutes to play Tetris. So he has like about 12 seconds more than me. You know, that's that's chump change. He's just di he's just doing a lot more with it. Yeah, he's just fast. He's just really fast at Tetris. Apparently, he's so good at having this memorized that he is, like, able to do all this crazy shit. He is rotating before he drops, though, I'm noticing. Input trick? Yeah, maybe. Because it doesn't have the thing where, you know, in modern textures, you press up to drop it straight down. It doesn't have that. In any case, 1.8 mil, and I've been, I got it like four times in a row. further he goes here. I'm at when he gets to the red color. It turns to like the tealish. Or like the green and blue. He gets 40,000 points. He's got a lot of time left. He's stacking. Jesus Christ. Okay, he's gotta be cashing out soon, right? No fucking way. He gets like five more Tetrises. That's insane. How does he get so much time? This is crazy. Then he cashes that out, then the best he can do is like get another line, so he's like, whatever. No, he gets another fucking Tetris! Then he gets a line. I think. No, he gets another Tetris. I know he finishes with the line. Yeah, there you go. Fucking hell. Oh, man. Does it incrementally get more points if you're further in? I think it does. I think that's what's happening here, is the, the deeper you go, the more to... Yeah, okay. So the higher level you are, you get a Tetris, the more points it's worth. So that's how he got how many millions he got, is because he got way into the further levels, and it just gave you more and more and more for the Tetrises. So it's like, well, fuck. So assuming quick enough to get through all the levels, then... Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. So it's not just getting the same amount of points. Because let's see... Um, how much a Tetris gives you at, like, level zero. I bet it's, like, piss nothing.
yeah, like 1,000, and then it goes up to like 10,000, then 30,000, then a, a whole hundred thousand, you know, it... So that's one mystery solved. <laughs> I wanna play Rad Racer, fuck. I like Rad Racer. <laughs> I'll play Rad Racer and then I'll go back to it and see if I still remember it. That'll be a good exercise. So long as I didn't skid on that turn, I'm probably fine. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Phew. That is the tightest turn in the whole race, and if you fuck that up, the whole thing's over. Let's do it. Tetris. Wow, I did it. I got to Tetris. Fuck. It's okay. Play it out. No big deal. And 
then from here, I don't think I'm getting anything else. Yeah. No line pieces. Not a single one in sight. That was actually worse. F. I blew it. How is that worse? That was the same point. Regardless, that's pretty good. I'll call it progress for the day. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright. Right. I think I'm done for, for tonight. As far as streaming and shit. I'm gonna take a break. Sure. Some water. Walk around a bit. Or something. I don't know. Catch you later. Maybe very soon.